Hi there, my dear moth friends. I'm happy that I can show you something new today. It's a species I haven't shown on my YouTube channel before. Uh, what species is it? That's a difficult question, actually. It may surprise you that uh, I have no idea what species of moon moth I have here. Uh, but that's because, actually, moon moth can be quite complicated. You see, uh, I ordered this species online and it was sold to me as Actias Gnoma, which is a moon moth from um, Japan and Russia, among other places. But upon seeing it emerge, this is obviously not Actias Gnoma. I don't believe it at all. It looks too different. Uh, it's mainly because Actias Gnoma has um, a white edge on top of the wings, and this one is, has purple. Maybe if you look on Google, you'll see the subtle differences. And Actias Gnoma have, has different wings and different eye spots and a different color antenna, in my opinion. I think this is um, Actias Artemis, but I'm not quite sure because Actias Artemis has multiple subspecies, which since very recently have been um, upgraded to their own full species level. That means it can be another species like Actias Sukvisti or Actias Eliana as well. And both of those used to be subspecies of Actias Artemis, so you have Actias Artemis with Actias Artemis Sukvisti and Actias Artemis Aliena, which are now their own species and that have their own different morphology and subtle differences in appearance and as you can guess it's probably getting very complicated most of these moths look very alike and I don't even know the exact origin of this one because it's from captivity either way it's a beautiful species and I'm going to call this one Actias Artemis because I think that's what species it is I think this is an Actias Artemis so in my opinion you're looking at Actias Artemis not one of their subspecies or whatever that are now upgraded to full species level it's a nice moth it uh, kind of resembles the North American Luna moth Actias Luna and the Indian moon moth Actias Selene somewhere in between in my opinion it's like a slightly larger Luna and they're easy to breed on certain kinds of uh, trees I believe oak and such things and Alnus, I forgot the English name of the genus Alnus oops, it looks like it's going to fly any time now I may be able to stop the video when it tries to fly luckily for me it's very cold so it won't get very far as you can see it already has some wing damage I was surprised to see that it already started flying on the uh, first few hours after it hatched. Most of the time large moths like these, they don't like to fly after they just emerged from their cocoons. But this one inflated its wings and it was immediately ready to fly. So I can't show you a perfect fresh specimen. I'm afraid this one has a tear in the wing and also lost some hair here on its uh, thorax. And. Um, I have about 20 cocoons of these, they're hibernating. I only warmed up one cocoon to see if they're healthy and how long it will take for them to emerge. Other way, thank you for watching. And wish me good luck with breeding this species, which I will call Axios Artemis, but I guess if you really want to, you can argue about it. Thanks for watching and until next time, please keep following my YouTube channel to see me breed more moth species this year because this year will get pretty crazy and awesome. Thank you.